What's Check. going on, everybody? It's the Okie Doke Show, and what's the end? We're here at E3, and we're still doing it, man. It's a special. We're standing with Miguel right here from Multiverse. Miguel, I heard a lot of good things, a lot of good things, especially for my co-host. My co-host is, is definitely a big fan. We're, well, first of all, we're big fans of Miguel's artwork. Oh, 100%. 100%. Thank you, guys. And I know he's going to, trust me, my co-host, non-stop talking about you, man. <laughs> but... It is, we're, this is great, man. We're here at E3, but I'm hearing some things about I keep seeing a lot of these crowns around here and stuff like that. You know, what's going on? Can you tell us a little bit about what your company does and, and what, what's up with all these crowns that everybody's wearing? Definitely. So the crowns you're seeing, first and foremost, those are for uh, Bandai Namco's new game, Nino Kune 2. And the crown uh, is the iconic crown that the character Evan wears in the game. And I was lucky enough to be able to design that crown and uh, do the vector art for the crown for this event for E3. And that goes into what my company does, which is Multiverse Studio. We make and manufacture uh, collectible products, promotional products. You know, we do OEM for uh, video game companies like you see at E3 here. So we do everything from action figures to statues, plush toys, everything, you name it. Can you tell us, like, okay, and it's specific from just regular stat toys, like, what specifically, like, kind of toys you got here at E3 right now and, and current contracts that you guys have? Definitely. So, specifically, that I can talk about most likely, it's, uh, it's the crown for Nino Kune. We're doing, um, we did a few plushies for Sony that are outside of the Sony store right now, the Trico plush for the last Guardian game. We did the ore plushies for uh, Jack and Daxter, and uh, we're working with Natsume, who's over here down the ways a bit, and we're doing, um, we did the giveaway minifigure they have for the Harvest Moon game. There's a little cow minifigure, it's really cool. Well, I worked on that as well. So we got that, and uh, I mean, the list goes on and on. But uh, right now, yeah, mostly all the big video game companies we got a hand in, we're doing some type of product for or whatnot. And a lot of actually upcoming CEs, collector's editions, and limited edition stuff I can't yet talk about, but that's coming soon this year, too. Oh, man, that's awesome. Sounds like a lot of stuff in the pipeline. What's your favorite artwork? Oh, man, I know, you, um, got, I know you, know, you got a couple pieces. I'm, I'm big on Street Fighter, Capcom, Street Fighter. I'm, I'm, yes. I'm very big. Um, uh, actually, how I met Miguel was at an art show buying up his art. And uh, Brian, the photographer, knew Miguel and actually linked up both of us together. He, I, I kind of showed off my art, and, and he's like, oh, that's Miguel's artwork. And next thing you know, like, you know, Miguel and I became friends, and I became a big supporter. Um, I wouldn't want to say day one, but pretty early. And, yeah. uh, and uh, you know, I like to represent artists, especially with my favorite work. Agreed. Um, you know, I know he's been doing this a long time, and uh, I know there's not a lot of immediate payoffs. And I see you always working at it, and to see you achieve this level, it's just a really, really happy and really, really proud for you because not everybody can really get on this type of level, especially, you know, you walk around with big name companies like Bandai, Capcom, Sony, like these are big names in the industry and it's nice to see your, your work out there. And uh, I wanted to ask you, like coming from an artist to like an like aspiring artist, what kind of advice do you want to give to people that don't see immediate payouts that have to put in the work? You got to be passionate about whatever you do. So I think if you're passionate, the hustle and grind is it, it turns into a love. You know, for me, I I feel like you know I'm not I'm not getting ahead if I'm resting or relaxing. I feel like someone else out there is getting better, is getting stronger. So I use that to motivate me to be passionate about what I do and to keep moving forward. It's like you know what. I can't sleep because right now, I, you know, if you want to be the best or be good at what you do, you got to hustle every minute, every second. And w there's so many outlets nowadays to, to do that where social media, Instagram being an instant gallery, that's what I use the most. I mean, Twitter, Facebook, you name it, you know, you could easily show your work to the world. So I say, you know, be passionate about what you do and, you know, hustle, practice every day and, you know, use all the outlets you possibly can and network and talk. And the, and the biggest thing I'd say, honestly, more than that is personality, you know, like, like even when we met, is meeting, networking with people is, is so important. And a lot of times people, you know, stay in their cave or they don't want to go out and socialize and meet people. But, you know, it's always, it comes down to who you know and who knows you're a good person as well, you know. Yes, yes. Now, you know, Miguel, me and my, my co-host right here are advocate, advocate Street Fighter fans. Okay. okay? We, and we've been playing for a long time. Do you have any Blancas in that safe somewhere? Because I got to get a Blanca. He has, he has, he has, he has a lot. He has okay. a lot of stuff. All right. I gotta, like, I gotta tell, get a speaking of that, like, tell us some of the upcoming events you're going to be doing. and Definitely. So I've got Designer Con coming up later this year, and I have some huge surprises in store that, you know, a lot of longtime followers of my art and work I think will really enjoy. I put a 
a lot of my time and effort this year into uh, some big projects I'm going to be dropping at DesignerCon. Uh, so that, that's kind of where my head's focused at right now. Uh, before DesignerCon, though, I do, I'm still working on some prints here and there and smaller art shows around Los Angeles area or Fresno area that I'll still be in. Uh, so there's a lot more artwork coming from me soon. Okay, uh, Miguel Wilson on Instagram. Do you have any other social media? Oh, Miguel Wilson on Instagram is the main way to check out my work or to get a hold of me. That's just my name, Miguel Wilson all together. So just Miguel Wilson on Instagram. And um, for uh, Twitter, I'm on every now and then. I actually don't have a Facebook anymore. I felt it was a little more productive just to kind of stay cool off some of the most social media sites. But uh, yeah, Instagram is the place to get me if you need anything. Yeah, you guys, I was out there, definitely go check him out. This is probably one of the most humblest dudes I've, I've spoken to and definitely doing big things. This is the Okie Doke Show. We're here again with Miguel, and this is E3. We'll be back.